Alright, so boom, I'm back with another tutorial. This one is for the shirts. Hopefully, this helps you guys out. Make sure you join my groups and also follow my new TikTok. I'll be advertising all the cool clothes that are either made by me or Jaden. And yeah, enjoy the tutorial. I'm going to be photo bashing this shirt right here. It's the Rick Owens Vomit Worker jacket. As you can see, we've got the front and the back. So once you've got your shirt references, you just want to come to this website called photoroom.com. It automatically removes backgrounds for you and you won't have to suffer doing it with the magic wand tool or manually removing it yourself. Okay, so once you've got your shirt reference, you just want to remove anything irrelevant. So I'm going to remove this right here. Cool, so now that all of that nonsense is removed, I'm just going to put this on my template. So once you've got your shirts on the template, you just want to name your layers. So I'm going to name this front and I'm going to name this back. Cool guys, so once you've done all of that, you just want to untick the back and then you just want to grab all of the front. Make sure you get everything. Copy and then we're just going to add a new layer and then press paste. Um, paste. Hello. There we go. And we're just going to drag this under and we're going to call this extra or whatever you guys want to call it. And then we're just going to drag this to right about over, um, I would say maybe here. So the goal is to fill in this sideline right here. So if we move the front, you've got a solid color almost right here, or you can use whichever side is best. Basically, you just want to cover it all up with one solid color. And perfect guys, that is one side of the bar filled up. So you just want to get your rectangle select tool and just copy all of this right over here. And then just flip it to the other side. All right, now it's time for the neck hole. Me personally, I don't add neck holes on my shirts most of the time. So if I'm bad at this, I'm sorry. So I would say grab about right here with the front layer, control C, make a new layer and then press control V. I'm just going to quickly name this neck hole. And then we're going to go back to the front, control A, control C, go back to the neck hole, effects, tools, and then press liquify. And as soon as you get here, you just want to right click and then press copy from clipboard. Now I'm not sure what all of this like trash is, so ignore it. Hopefully this doesn't happen to you guys. And you just want to liquify it and move it up and in this direction. We can improve this later on, so don't stress about it too much. Okay, I guess this is decent. It looks like absolute trash, so hopefully you guys' ones look better than mine. Okay guys, personally I would say that this is finished. Stop the cow. <laughs> I'm just gonna add some sharpness and some other cool stuff to make this look like a high quality shirt. Alright guys, and now it's time for the shoulders. You just do the same thing, grab one of the sides and just put it all along here. Alright guys, that is your shirt complete and now you just want to add some assets and also some touch-ups if you need to. Also guys, if your shirt has any stitching and you want it to line up like this, you just want to take it, copy it, and you want to add a new layer and you just want to put it right down over here. Alright guys, I realized I messed up earlier. Your stitching is supposed to look like this on these sides, so yeah, make sure you don't make the same mistake I did. Okay guys, as you can see, I've added all my assets. I've actually got quite a few on here, but the last thing that I like to do is get my paintbrush and I like to increase the size. And I just like to put the harness on about 23, something like that. And I just like to go over everything right here. And once I've done all of that, I just like to double click this, bring it down and then press overlay and just slide it all the way down. And it makes quite a difference actually, as you can see. Tiny difference, but it's small things that count. Alright guys, so I've actually already made this shirt in a red version, so I'm just going to change this to the colour I want with hue and saturation, or just whatever looks cool to be honest.
cool so this is what the shirt is looking like on drip cells and then this is what it looks like on 3d it's pretty cool pretty decent um doesn't take long at all and yeah make sure you guys make your shirts look better than mine at least this is this is just a rough patch all right thanks for watching guys i'll probably make an updated shirt tutorial soon when i get better because as you know i'm still a beginner so i've got a lot of stuff to learn